This weekend, the Ball Diamonds will be packed at Nenig Park in Chilton. It's the annual Matt Colby Tournament, an event inspired by a guy whose love for others was contagious. Our Abigail Hankey takes us there. There was no mountain that Matthew couldn't move. If you take a right on Dove Avenue in Chilton, you'll notice this sign near the Nenig Park driveway. So Matt played ball here at Nenig Park as a, as a child, and this was his most favorite place to be in the whole world. And it's not hard to see why. The park is home to the Matt Colby Baseball, Softball, and Beanbag Tournament. It's just a weekend where everyone is just a little kinder, and mm -hmm. it just brings the good out in everyone. The event brings teams from around the area for a weekend of ball, playing in the spirit of a guy whose love for life and smiles were infectious. Matt was such a cheerful, joyful, accepting person. He immediately just, hello, he wanted to be your friend. We were blessed to have been his parents. God, God did us a favor by giving us Matt. He was our world. Matt, who had Down syndrome, sadly passed away about 10 years ago. Something that's never easy, no matter how much time has passed, including for his younger brother, Luke. I always just joke that he, we we were, we were like twins almost. I certainly wish he was here with us today. There isn't a moment or a time that I don't miss him. That's why the family and loved ones are here today at Nutting Park. The annual tournament is a way to keep Matt's memory alive. Did you guys know he likes sports? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely like sports. <laughs> Anything with a ball. If Matt was here, what would he say? <laughs> Good job. Play ball. Play ball. <laughs> Matt played Little League Baseball as a kid. He also competed in several sports through Special Olympics, but one of the big reasons he's known around town is through his time as manager for the high school sports teams. He had a way of motivating and relaxing the dugout uh, so the players could just play for the love of the game. He treated everybody the same and he'd uh, if they'd swing and miss or he'd say, eye on the ball, eye on the ball. Treating everyone the same, that's a sentiment the family hopes to inspire for other kids and families through the Matt Colby tournament. He just touched so many people and he continues to do that. But it's not only for one weekend they want to inspire others. The family is also working on the city's first all-inclusive playground to be built at this park. This is one moment in time, but we hope that with the playground and with all the other projects that we continue to work on and have done before, that we can kind of promote that loving and accepting all the time. If you stop on out this weekend, they'll also have Matt's Field of Dreams game, similar to Miracle League, where players ages 4 to 78 are going to get out on the field with the help of angels. There's just so much love on the field at that time. While Matt may not physically be in the dugouts, eating a dilly bar or cheeseburger from one of the team's coaches as he cheers on the kids. In the event next weekend, you can just kind of feel him here with us. I know it's starting to rain, I'm sorry. That's fine, whatever, Matt's here. <laughs> and you'll be able to feel his energy in the stands, the dugouts, on the field, or even under this growing maple tree at Nutting Park. The picture on there is his senior high school graduation picture and uh, we chose the red maple because red was his favorite color and maple is a strong hardy tree. We hope we're making him proud. Yeah, yeah, and just uh, carrying on what he loved to do and uh, sharing it with other people. So don't forget the event is this weekend. It starts Friday night and then Saturday is when they have the Field of Dreams game and a balloon release. You're not going to want to miss it. In Shelton, Abigail Hankey, NBC 26. Thank you, Abby. Aside from honoring Matt through the tournament, money raised from the event goes toward a scholarship awarded to students every year who encompass the way Matt lived his life. Other donations will go toward Special Olympics, in which Matt competed in, and other local charities and organizations. Again, the tournament starts Friday in Chilton. To learn more about being a part of the inspiring event, head to our website, 